my lovely friends welcome to my channel Anna's passion channel my name is Anna of course and if you are for the very first time here I hope you find something inspirational you grab some tips and ideas what to do what to create if you are a beginner if you're starting your crafty journey or maybe if you're more advanced and looking for some new ideas because I'm trying to come up with something what actually no one else done it before so I'm hoping that's gonna inspire you and maybe create something maybe similar so not long ago my little one six years old Marcel walked into the room and he had a bueno and that actually gave me the idea maybe to create something for oh, sweet um, wrapper maybe a sweet box let's dive into it and let's see what we can come up together I'm gonna reverse the camera and we can meet at my desk and start from here so here we are we are at my desk and I have this grey cardstock I think it's a hundred and sixty or maybe I don't know, maybe 180 GSM cardstock. It's quite sturdy, so I think it will be just a proper base for me to use for Bueno as a maybe box. Let's do the box. So firstly, what I'm going to do, I'm going to just measure maybe a centimeter for a closing flap. So my box will be nicely closing. I think centimeter, maybe a little bit like one point two yeah let's do 1.2 so i'm going to just draw the lines there 1.2 here we go then i'm going to just connect them together that's the way how i like to do then i know my lines gonna be straight before i will go and score them on my scoring board so that's going to be my closing flap now i have to just measure the dimension of my uh, bueno so we have roughly two centimeters so if i do like 2.5 centimeter that will be just more than enough so uh, my bueno will fit in nicely there without any struggle without any fighting let's have a look 2.5 there perfect let's connect these lines together now you don't have to work with a grey cardstock, you can use white cardstock or any other colour, whatever you have on stash. You don't have to have the same um, colours, whatever I'm creating with, this is just an idea for you. Now I'm going to measure across, I've got like roughly 17 centimetres there, so that will be just a perfect, perfect size to fit in my Bueno, so we have plenty of room for uh, this chocolate uh, bars to fit in in this box so let's put 17 centimeters there now if you wonder what ruler I'm using it's the helix ruler and it's got a cork at the back I was mentioning about this ruler in a couple of videos before then so, also I've linked the um, description uh, in the description box below uh, the video details where you can get this ruler from uh, it's a really good investment and it will last you for quite some time and it's also flexible which is really cool um, we have the measurements of the box coming along nicely so now we have to also measure another 2.5 centimeter for another wall part of the box to close it and then we can just draw the line of one point two one point two i can't see properly because the line light from the um ring lights is shining into my eyes it's quite reflecting from the glass mat so i'm hoping i'm not making a mess here okay so we have that and uh now I'm going to measure the uh, width of the bueno. So if we put it like maybe, I'm thinking five, five and a half will be just perfectly fine. So firstly, we need a centimeter for connecting our walls together, our pieces of the box together so it will be nicely closed in so this is where we're gonna stick them together then we have five and a half 
five and a half. No, we have two and a half. Two and a half. So let's measure them here. We have one centimeter. We have two and a half. Okay, we can just connect the lines together like so. And then these two as well, like that. And then we have five and a half, five and a half. Uh, if you hear a little bit of distraction in the background, of course my family is at home. That's the joy of having family home. And of course little one is a little bit hyper, so you hear a little strange noises that's Marcel that's Marcel he always wants to be around me when I'm creating now we measure another two and a half like so and another two and a half there we go coming on nicely now I always like to draw the lines before I actually will score them and cut them then I know I'm not gonna make any mistakes with anything so we've got the flap to join there together for this we've got that and then we need another another piece of a uh, five and a half centimeter like there five and a half and we can just join the lines together okay coming on coming on excuse you okay so this is it I can just cut that all together a little handy waving <laughs> I'm just saying hello yes you're saying hello okay so now we're gonna cut our we're going to cut our elements, what we don't need, like that. And this project is going to be just absolutely perfect to use your scraps. So if you have any scraps lying around, if you have any collection, what you've got, not much left there, what you're thinking, what you're going to use it for, this is the idea for you to actually take that from your shelf and create something like this mm. for definite so this is this is what i have Why are you making? i'm making a box for bueno oh. there you go that's for what me. I, that's what i'm making well if you think it's going to be for you maybe it is for you but firstly you have to be good boy right mm -hmm. okay so what we need to do we have to just uh, decide which part of the box we're not going to need so we're not going to need those elements, we can cut them off. Um, we can cut these elements as well. And I'm just thinking, hang on a second. Uh, to, 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 this is where they close in. This is when it's going to be. To, to. And yes, we're going to cut these off as well. How many do you have to cut off? And we're going to cut these as well. What the so we've got flaps inside. This is going there. Yeah, that's fine. So uh, we can just snap, crackle, cut these pop. away. Snap, crackle, <laughs> pop. Snap, crackle, pop. Whatever that is. Okay. That's what sometimes we do on Friday. All right, okay. On Zoom calls. On Zoom calls. Very interesting. Because when they get the certificate, they, they say give it away, and then once they did superstars, then they give out some big certificates mm -hmm. from a soap. And they're very huge. Right, okay. The more huge than the small ones. The huge. <laughs> okay, great. The more the bigger. Perfect. So this is what the we everything. are get in now that's, cool. that's a neat way just be careful honey because the camera is shaking so the vision might be blurry okay thanks 
Hang on a second. Who is this? Gonna put this there. Who is this for? It is yours. Do you remember? Oh. Yeah. Do you want to grab it and go to the to your brother? So I can eat it. Yes, of course Yay. you can. What today? No, maybe not today. Maybe tomorrow. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> I'll eat it. You had enough chocolates for today. I just want one more. That's all. You had loads of chocolates for today. Can you see? He's negotiating, right? Can I what? Okay, so this is what we have. So can we can what? just use our scoring board and we can just score it the elements that we have. Okay, so we can start there like that. Lovely. We need another line across there. Okay, now we can score it there. Okay, Marcel, you can eat it, but that's enough for today, okay? Thank okay. you. And just be a good boy and just sit nicely, okay? And get your coloring book and you can do something there, okay? Okay. Thanks. You always want to be around, but my desk is not big enough for us two to be working and creating. So, this is coming along. This is coming along like there, and the one up here, and we have it. This is our base for the box okay so what we can do we can just fold our elements like that and let's have a look we have that that goes there okay we can just cut it at the angle so it will be nicely closed in like that i'm just going to move that there we have the flap there we have the main part of the body of the box and of course we have there last wall we can just bend those as well and the flaps to close our box there we go, there we go, let's have a look, so this is our box, right, so let's just stick this together and then we can decide on the papers what we're going to be creating with, I'm just going to grab a glue, so I'm just going to grab my tacky glue, you can use any glue wherever you have on hand, whatever rocks your boat. I really like this tacky glue and I also have this uh, extra forte glue which is one of my favorites as well. I'm just using them for quite often. Uh, what I like about them that they are drying clear and they also not drying straight away so it gives you a little bit of time to actually um, Make sure that your elements, what you stick in, they are straight. And this is it. This is our box. Okay, so let's just move the bone folder there. Well, in fact, it's not a bone folder. It's a um, butter knife, which I was mentioning to you in a previous video. So let's just close this together and we have a nice cool box what we created using just a simple technique just a simple steps I'm sure all of you are actually able to create a box like this so we can just put our bueno inside fits nicely there we go we can just close our flaps there okay so I'm just going to dive in and find the papers what I will be creating with and we'll start decorating our box. 
So I'm back to you, back to you, and I picked this beautiful collection from Stamperia Journal. This collection is so beautiful, and I thought I will just create something vintage, something really uh, romantic, uh, because that will actually go perfectly with my grey base, what I have for the box. So I'm just going to pick the paper, what I will be using for my, um, for my, oh that actually could fit in nicely for the, was yeah i could actually use that strip as well i'm thinking hmm, i can actually maybe go for this paper really nice vintagey i've got gray tones there as well yes let's go for this one uh, let me just measure across what do we have there yes this is just gonna be so cute i think i'm just deciding hmm definitely one of those hmm that actually could do look really good yep yeah, okay let's dive into it without much thinking without over stressing in fact i can actually start from this end and okay what I like to do in my project because you probably know already I like to leave a little margin uh, so the base from underneath will be picking through boys having a giggle of course they do have a giggle they have a bit of a argument of course as the boys do okay here we go so we have that there I'm just measuring approximately as I go, not to stress in, not to overwhelming, just steady as I go. There we go, like that. And the last one, just here. Like that. Okay, perfect. So as you can see, you don't need much of paper for this project. So you can use scraps or you can just use the large sheet, whatever you decide. Uh, this is just an idea for you to, to create with. So I've got that roughly there. I just don't want to cut it too far so I can use this piece of paper for also another project maybe I would have a different measurements to work with one second where was that line there okay I can't see properly now one second I think I've made a mistake with measuring that there, let me just cut that first so then I know where I am with that. Okay, so that's my first element, what I need for the, for the first wall there. Okay, well in fact, we can actually grab a glue and start sticking it there. And the main, uh, the main panel, what I'm going to actually use in front, I'm going to do a bit of a mixed media on it. Well, in fact, I can actually do some uh, inking on the edges on this one as well. I'm just thinking out loud as I'm working through. Okay, let me just cut this there, like that. Okay, cool. Let's just check where this is going. One second, let me just check that. Where is this going? So we have it there. Okay, I've got a line now. This is this is one of the um, distracting uh, points there when you're working with colored paper. <laughs> you can't see always where your lines are. There we go. So we have my main panel and I'm gonna just leave that 
Uh, I'm not going to stick that yet because I'm going to do a bit of a mixed media in front of the panel. Okay, so that is there. Let me just move that. Okay. Let's just measure from this one because these walls are exactly same. Boys having a little bit of an argument as they do. Is your boys also like this or is it only just just mine? <laughs> it's always funny, yeah. Okay, anyway. This is what we're working on. Like that. So we have another panel. My blade is not as um, sharp as it used to be. And it's leaving me a little bit like a distress. Um, edges but that's okay that's absolutely fine no problem whatsoever so this is where I need to cut just leave it there okay there we go and I can just use the scissors just to connect it there okay we have it we have our elements, so we can just work from here. Okay, let's move that aside. We're not going to need our scoring board as well. Uh, the last thing what I forgot to do actually is those, those little... Uh, closing points so we go like there mm -hmm. so this is going to be here okay cool so we can just cut this strip <laughs> they're trying to work through and make some origami but it's not going too well as I can hear in the background okay here we go here we go here we go will I be able to do it maybe not maybe not maybe not 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 okay let's do that and we can put this second element as well like that so we have as you can see we're just working through and we're using as much scraps as we can so we're not wasting we're not working on the whole piece of a paper now if you have a small collection 8x8 eight eight, then by all means you can also grab it it's absolutely perfect as well for this project. Let me just quickly put it in there so now I know roughly where I need to cut. Like that. That's not very straight, not very precise line. I just wanted to just eyeball it where it's roughly going to go so now I can just draw a straight line <laughs> there we go okay that looks straight okay so we can just cut this off and we can just cut this one as well okay like this right this can go now, if you worry that you have some uh, pencil marks, grab your rubber and just rub it off. There we go. There's no stress there. Okay, let me just grab some inks and we can ink the edges on our elements. Okay, so I have my archival coffee shade ink. So I'm going to just ink my edges. 
it will look really cool and vintage -y. and also uh, on the um, just the little edges um, itself we can add maybe a little bit of a, a black as well just to highlight it a little bit more that will be just absolutely also great okay so that's what we're doing here we go like that cool pretty nice a vintage look here we go and those as well i really like this uh, piece of um, paper because it's got really vintage look with a bit of a gray in the background which is perfectly matching my um, base for the box absolutely great i'm just thinking i'm gonna actually use this side because it has loads of brown there so it will be just perfectly cool a vintage there okay one more here we go let's put that in that's that that's that there we go there we go okay cool i'm gonna just grab a black ink as well black ink okay we have it we have it and i'm gonna just apply directly from the part i'm just gonna just rub the edges like this so that way we have nice highlights okay that's what we're aiming for let me just give a close-up okay so i'm just gonna carry on using the ink and just finishing these elements off back to you back to you my lovely friends so since i have everything inked up with the edges i i just put my elements next to each other and now what i'm going to do i'm going to actually use this beautiful script stamp from the romantic collection if anyone needs the code is wtkcc182 um, it's always good to invest in some script stamp because you will be just using them on and on and on they are very versatile and they are really cool for any project so I'm going to just partially stamp the script here and there so it will have really nice vintage look like so. As you can see I'm not super precise with that, least precision is better. Okay, so don't stress over too much like so beautiful i like that okay that will be just more than enough so now i can just stick my elements onto my box without much thinking without much um debating what's what and where and i can move on and work on my main panel which i will add a little bit more um, of interest to the front panel and of course we will be building a composition as well okay so we have that we have that okay cool so I'm going to just leave that front panel without working on it yet because I want to add more interest to it. Okay. There we go. Let me just move that a little bit further to this side. Okay, perfect. I like that. Just stick my elements aside as well this is just so cool i really like it 
Okay. There. So we have that ready. I can just close my box. There we go. Everything's fit nicely. Like so. Okay. And we have our front panel which we left it here. So let me just move that aside and I'm going to bring an aquacolor spray. Uh, this is a really pretty aquacolor spray. Uh, it's a um, Oreo Perlato. It's a really nice goldish color. Uh, so I'm going to just add a bit of a splatters on my panel like so okay here we go okay so that's gonna give me a nice vintage look and i'm gonna leave this to dry and i probably will get back to you to finish this project tomorrow um i haven't still invested in my heat gun so i'm gonna just leave it at that and we're gonna crack on and finish the project tomorrow so looking forward to that Back to you, back to you, my beautiful friends. We are on the next day. We're going to continue creating um, the front panel for our Kinder Bueno. This is what we have so far. We've got beautiful stamping and we've got splatters made with the beautiful golden um, aquacolor spray. It's really beautiful, shimmery. I love that. And I decided I'm going to add more texture to it. And I'm reaching out for this beautiful stencil from... Uh, this romantic collection as well and I'm gonna add a bit of a texture using the um, cream paste this is absolutely great product dries quick and the texture is absolutely gorgeous and you can also use this product with your um, texture plates to create beautiful flexible embellishments as well or just uh, like a texture on its own for example when you will probably will stick onto like I don't know canvas or something like that so you know you've got a possibility of using that product in a different way if you just want to just um, think a little bit outside the box you've got the possibility there so what I'm thinking I'm gonna just um, add a bit of a texture on my front panel and I'm not gonna be very super precise with that this precision is better and that will give me the beautiful distress look as well very vintagey not very perfect and that's absolutely gonna be perfect for this project because it's gonna be so vintagey so distressed so like um, beautiful uh, imperfect and I absolutely love that so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go and wash my stencil uh, I will give a few minutes for the paste to dry on its own. Uh, this product dries really quick so you don't really have to use your heat gun with that and that's what I love about it. So it's really, really cool. So let me just go and wash my stencil, leave a few minutes for this to dry and I will be back to you and we'll continue further with working on this panel. So the texture is dry, let me just bring that up for you so you can see everything is looking really cool. And I have this gorgeous pack of die cuts uh, with this romantic collection. So I'm thinking I'm going to use the elements from the pack and build a composition using those. These are really pretty elements. Remember today. Wow, this is so gorgeous. So, so gorgeous these elements are. I'm thinking what to use. I love this one, treasure, lovely, this is beautiful, oh in fact I also love this one, what I'm thinking, I might actually use this one, let's see what the quotes we have here, mm, let's have a look, let's have a look, timeless, we have low, so love, sunshine, a smile costs nothing but gives much absolutely beautiful remember today oh I love this clock as well we can use one of the clocks as well beautiful vintage clock absolutely 
this is a beautiful badge we can go for okay treasure yes definitely we can use treasure on this one because we've got a treasure inside with with sweets we've got beautiful elements there nope that's not gonna be there yes I'm thinking I'm gonna go for this beautiful um, elements there and let me just bring my beautiful flexible script what I've created using the um, texture plate and the uh, cream paste this is beautiful beautiful so that will go perfectly here let me just get one of the piece like this mmm that looks yummy yummy let me just distress that a little bit like that that will look really cool so if I put this underneath there like that and like that so it will be leveled up okay that looks really really cool I like it okay let's have a look where is 12 on this clock it's here we've got that beautiful I love it I love 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 it okay and I think I will add just a flower to it like this make it so vintage let me just check the other flowers maybe a little bit pinkish mmm that looks really interesting as well or maybe maybe let's check another one hmm oh that's vintage one oh yes I absolutely love that however this flower is a little bit too big for this small project but I think that will be just perfect with this flower and we can just add a small bow at the side and this is gonna be just pretty that's gonna be just pretty so what I'm going to do I'm going to stick my elements using hot glue there we go so I have hot glue put my elements down there we go okay lovely 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 and to lift this element a little bit so it's not going to be just so flat I'm going to just add a bit of a um, leftover cheaper bird I'm just going to reach for them one second let me just grab them from my shelf Okay, so I have some leftovers, what I'm going to use for this at the back, just to lift it up a little bit, so it won't be just lying there so flat, there we go, like so, let me just try it on, that looks beautiful, beautiful, and we can use the some of the um, smaller elements as well for the clock of course we can use them like that so our elements gonna be raised up a little bit I think I'm gonna add another piece on top as well just to make it a little bit up like that there we go pieces of the strings of course we have loads of them right okay this is looking gorgeous let me just try it yes I love it I love 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 it tell me how you're getting on if you're creating with me if you like the idea of making a project like this if that's something what you ever thought of doing if that's something what you actually maybe doing if you have the um, if you actually grab the inspiration from me I'd love to hear from you it's always lovely to hear from you you're leaving me always beautiful comments which um, if I'm not replying straight away please forgive me but uh, I always try to read them uh, as 
when I've got a time to catch up on things. So there we go. I love that. I love, love, love it. What I'm going to do, I'm going to reach for my string. Oh, I actually have this wooden love heart there as well. Well, so we've got a treasure. Love heart and treasure. That looks really good together. I think I'm going to just stick that as well. Uh, let me just... Yes, I love that. I love, love, love that. I'm going to be just gentle with the hot glue there. So it will not go in holes. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. I love that. Mmm. Yeah, I need to definitely string on this side. I'm going to just reach for my string to make a few bows. Wait a second. One second. Okay, so I have my string. I'm going to make a few bows. I love adding string to my project. It looks just so cool. If you're just wondering what string I'm using, this is just an ordinary butcher string. So you can just step out of your, um, of, uh, step out from the comfort zone, step out and think outside the box. You've got so many things you can actually use in your craft. There we go. So that is just uh, one of the ideas for you. Let's put another bow as well. We've gonna just quickly make them like we go, like that. Okay. Now, like I said earlier, uh, with regarding using this collection, you don't have to absolutely do it with this collection. You can do it with a different collection. And of course, this project is gonna be just absolutely perfect for using your leftovers so you don't have to use a large collection your leftovers what you have lying on the shelf which you're thinking what you could do with them you can absolutely grab and just enjoy it you can absolutely create beautiful stuff with the leftovers as well i always try to share that details with you that you don't have to have so many things around you you can just be so creative with things what you already have okay so I think I'm going to just put my flower like there. I love that. Love, love, love that. Okay, so I'm going to add my flower like so. Beautiful. Okay, now I'm going to add my bows with the string. Be careful with your hot glue, don't burn yourself and you don't have to rush the process, you can take as much time as you need. Um, there we go. Just take it step by step. You don't have to be super quick creating any project, you can just take as long as you have the time for it of course. And I'm hoping um, the ideas what I'm sharing with you, um, you find it really inspirational because I'm trying to come up with things um, different, uh, what's not available, what uh, I haven't actually seen anyone making. So I just don't want to like um, be um, repetitive and create on and on and on same thing. I just want to give you new ideas as well. And this idea was absolutely like a, a light bulb moment when my son actually walked in into the room with with the bueno and just flashed it to me like, mm hmm, I've got bueno. So here we go. Okay, I'm gonna add a bit of a cheap board at the back of my sentiment as well, just to level it up. A little bit. There we go. We have beautiful sentiment treasure. I love that. I hope you're enjoying this tutorial. I hope you've got some ideas what you can do and how you can experiment with different 
um, steps and come up with something really unique, something really different. Okay, treasure, I love that. Okay, so we have our panel ready, it's really dimensional, it's really sticking, um, so, so 3D sticking out. I love that, really, really cool. And what else I'm thinking? I want to add a little bit bling bling. Of course, I wouldn't be myself if I will not do that. And what I'm going to do, I'm actually gonna use the goldens. So I'm gonna just squeeze a little bit of a glue for the goldens. And I'm gonna just gently tap it in few places, like so. That's gonna look so vintage, that's gonna look so beauty. Let's put it few there, maybe few there. You don't have to be super precise, least precision is better. You don't have to be so straight, because when you are gonna add your foil, on top it gonna look even better if it's just so imperfect so that is the idea for you okay I absolutely love that so I'm gonna give a few moments for the glue to dry and then I will just reach for my foil and add it on and then we can stick our panel on a box okay my glue is dry my less now so I'm gonna just reach for the beautiful this gold foil and I'm gonna add it on to the areas where the glue is uh, which way is that going I'm gonna second I've used this foil uh, on one of the live classes what I had the pleasure to uh, run for Stamperia uh, if you've missed it, if you haven't had a chance to see it, then I would love to invite you to watch the um, recap if you fancy. And that will be absolutely great uh, if you see the inspiration. It was one of the uh, Christmas projects what I actually was creating with a beautiful romantic uh, collection. I think it was, uh, no, it actually wasn't a romantic collection, it was cr Pink Christmas collection. Yes, definitely, it was that one. So I'm going to just grab the foil and I'm going to just rub it into places. Now, don't worry about uh, being imperfect now because um, we're going to use the uh, brush and we're going to rub off the excess of the of the foil so don't worry about it if it doesn't look super great yet we're gonna work on it so don't worry don't worry yet don't worry don't panic yet there we go like that I think I've added here as well a little bit okay that looks good to me and I like the golden effect okay so what I'm going to do now I'm going to take a stiff brush and I'm going to just rub off the excess. There we go. Okay, so it doesn't stick everywhere. The excess will come off. Okay, I love that. Absolutely love that. Looking good. Okay, let's come up this a little bit more to make it more vintage. Now with regarding working with golden, it's a little bit messy action here. So um, it's going to be a little bit of a chaos going on on my desk but I absolutely love the effect we're getting with the goldings okay I love that let me just get some of this off to look more vintage to look more distressed okay I love 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 that 
Okay, so we have it. Now what we need to do now, let me just move this excess so we can just clean the desk so my golden flakes won't be flying around. Okay, we're going to stick that on our front panel and for that I'm reaching of course for my um, you can use tacky glue, you can use the extra forte glue. I love extra forte glue, it's a really good adhesive. If you have any different preferences to your glue, then by I mean use what you have, use what you like. There we go, we have the panel, what goes in front. Beautiful, I like that. Tell me what you think, if you actually enjoy this process, if you have an idea, if you found it um, inspirational as well. There we go. So we have this cute treasure box with a sweet uh, treasure inside. We have Bueno inside. There we go. What I'm thinking, I'm going to add a few splatters. And I'm thinking I'm going to add black splatters just to make it a little bit like pop, just to make it a little bit highlight. I'm going to just reach for the black paint and just finish off with splatters. Believe it or not, but I actually couldn't find a black uh, acrylic paint. I don't know what happened with my acrylic paint. I'm thinking probably my little one was in my paint. But I have this beautiful charcoal colour from Allegro Paints beautiful it's pretty much like black but it's really really dark charcoal color so I'm gonna add the splatters using that color um, it's gonna work really nicely with the uh, gray background what we have on the uh, base it's gonna work really cool with the with all the elements to be honest what we use what we have that looks cool to me that looks cool to me. Okay, I like that. Okay, a few more there. Okay, a few more there. Okay, and just a few there. Okay, I like it. I really, really like it. Okay, so let me just reverse the camera and I can share the project with you. So let me just bring that up for you so you can see it, what we actually created today. So this is a box with the Kinder Bueno inside. We have beautiful dimensional panel in front. We've got beautiful elements. We have so much happening in the background and I absolutely enjoy making it. So I hope you also have the idea what you can do to step out of your comfort zone, to come up with something new, something very creative. And this is actually a really cool idea to create something like this uh, with a little sweet inside to give it to your friend. For example, like a extra topping up to the main present, for example, for a birthday or just without any occasion, just as a simple thank you just for being there being supportive and i also would like to thank you so much my beautiful friends uh, for all the support for all your lovely comments for all the interaction on my channel and if i could ask a little bit favor from you if you could share my channel with your friends uh, maybe they are still in doubt how to start crafting what to do looking for some inspirational ideas i would love that if this community will grow because the purpose of this channel is for the community to grow, to grab the inspiration, to be supportive to each other and just learn together from each other. So I hope you find it that inspirational and I hope you're going to share it with your friends so they're also going to grab their ideas and, and also they will benefit from me coming and creating these videos for you all. So that will be everything from me for you today, my beautiful crafty community. Uh, I appreciate you, all of you and each of you. You are absolutely amazing. And without you, this channel probably wouldn't exist, absolutely. So it's my motivation to keep coming and posting the videos for you. Big kisses to you all and I will chat to you soon. Bye for now.